Oh, so that's the morning cleaning regime done. So, a little bit of an update for you. I have just, or I am just in the process of booking a little trip. Now, I know, I've just got my apartment, I'm settled in, I'm having a lovely time here in CM Reap, but there are areas that I haven't been to visit yet and I really would like to. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to wander down to the Giant Ibis Bus Company and find out about booking a bus to go to Campot for a few days. I've heard some brilliant things about it and I'm really looking forward to visiting. I tried to book my tickets online and for some reason or not, I just couldn't book them. It didn't go through. So it's not that far. I'm going to take a wander down by the river and go to the office and speak to them down there. I will get a bus from CM Reap to Campot. It is a night bus. I think it leaves at about 10.30 p.m. and it takes, I think, I'll put the details in here, but I think it said that it took about nine and a half hours to get there. So once I get there, I will spend two or three nights in Campot investigating, having a little look around. Of course, I'm going to bring you with me. After that, I will take a short bus hop, not quite sure how long it is, to Sanookville. And I will catch a ferry from there over to the islands because there are two islands at the bottom of Cambodia, which I've wanted to go and visit for a long while. So I will visit the larger island first. And from there, after two or three nights, probably three nights on that island, I will then go over to the smaller island where I'm thinking I might spend sort of four or five nights before heading back home. But first on the list is to wander down and get my bus ticket to Kampot. So I've made it to the giant Ibis office. It is just there. is to pack everything into my 13 litre laptop bag which you can see just in the top there. I have no idea whether this is going to work but I don't want to be taking my 40 litre Eagle Creek. I am going for about 13 days and I just want a really small bag so I can travel light. So this is the plan. Shall we see if it's going to work? I have one, two, three, lightweight t-shirts. I have my green singlet t-shirt and my black strappy top from Uniqlo which has a bra included in it. I have my waterproof bag just there. I have got my Uniqlo handbag and I have got two pairs of long trousers, the brown and the cream. I have got my Uniqlo shorts and a pair of cotton shorts. I have bikini bottoms, which I can also wear with either one of these little bra tops for swimming. And I have a bikini and my sheer t-shirt, which I wear over my bikini. And I have a sarong. My two towels. I have six pairs of underwear. My toiletries are here. So I have shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, toothpicks, I always have a couple of zip ties and this here is a little screwdriver for a pair of glasses. This is my medical kit, uh, ear cleaner, mirror, 
a little bit of lotion that's left over, some mascara. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in just yet. This is my eyeglasses um, cleaner and I'm wearing my glasses so my glasses will go there but I am going to put them on because otherwise I'm as blind as a bat. I have a shower cap and my Apple AirPod and this little case here is what I will put all my pills in. I have my toiletry bag, toothpaste, toothbrush. I'm filming on my phone so that is just the case. My laptop with the charger. This here is just the ticket to get on the bus. My bag obviously. My little tripod. This is a string to hold my phone around my neck. And these few bits here are what I put into my Uniqlo bag. So tissues, another pair of glasses, my little pad here with the words that I've learned on from Kamai classes. This is my power bank. I have my Apple AirPods, a couple of charging cables. Oh, it's still plugged in over there. So my, plugged in there is my travel adapter and my cables. And this is my microphone set, which I'm using right now as well. Got to put those on the bed. And I have a purse. Wish me luck with fitting all of this into this little bag. Let's see how we get on. That went better than expected. I half thought that I might have to sacrifice something. But these are the clothes that I will be wearing to travel in. I don't know if I'm going to take this yet. Might do, might not. My little handbag and my 13 litre laptop bag. I wasn't going to take my laptop, but yeah, I've decided that I will. Also, there's actually nothing in this front pocket as well. So, yeah, I can always put a few things in there. And it's not that heavy either. And I've got more than enough clothes in there. So if I can actually travel with a bag this small for 13 days, why, oh why, am I travelling with a 40 litre backpack and this? That. Is a very good question. I think the time has come for me to think about getting a new backpack because don't get me wrong, I love my Eagle Creek Global Companion 40 litre, but I've used it every day for over two years and actually a little bit before that because I probably had it for at least a year before I started my NAM with the backpack traveling adventure. I have been looking at a couple so the ones on my list so far, Peak Design, uh, 30 litre, or the Cotopaxi. I don't know whether to get the 35 litre or the 28. The 28 really appeals to me. And that's why I think this is going to be a really good test for me to see which one going forward I might use. Have any of you got any experience with any of those backpacks what backpack do you use can you give me some advice can you help me i like the idea of the 28 liter that i can just travel light and put it underneath the seat in front of me on a plane oh decisions decisions anyway we will see how we go first with 13 liters for a 13 day trip Will I regret my decision or will it be the best thing I've ever done? What do you think? Tell me in the description below. <laughs> 